Hello everybody, my name is RPG and welcome back to Let's Play Shiny Force 3. Today we're going to tackle, tackle Bullzone once more and all three of his Dark Priests. I think the purple and the green ones are from that fight where we had to play as three. You know what, you're going to have to go a different side this time. And the red one I think is the one from Medians. Uh, the one where Medium was trapped at the very end of like chapter six I think it was of Scenario 3. It's those ones. I don't remember if he was red or not, is the thing. I like that they have different colours, though. Uh, they are very standy still. I wonder, though, like, because of how the platform is, it's going to be tricky to let everyone hit him. Hmm. Maybe I should have, like, instead of having four casters, taken, like, a support unit like Primula or Irene. Someone who can damage when need be, but whatever. We'll see. Uh, who went this way? It's this guy. Okay, so Bullzone still takes two actions. He probably also still heals. None of this is a summon, I believe. Okay, so they do have 800 health by the looks of it, because we aim for 100 and it's still, still invisible. Honestly, like, as much as I'd love to Inferno them, I think just hitting them is... Well, I mean, I'm going to have to Inferno them now. Because um, I can't reach otherwise. But I think just meleeing them will be more in more impactful. And at least there's room in front of Baldwin for all three heroes, so... With all three heroes hitting him, he should melt pretty damn fast. And he's not immune to damage while they're up as well, so that's good. Um, you can't you can't do a big AOE anyway, so just equip this because it doesn't affect your damage stats, and just cast blaze. Because you regen two MP anyway. Right, you can equip... Oh, you've already got the MP regen wand equipped. Good. You can start freezing. Since this is going to have to spark, but... That's the thing she's best at. So that's not really a huge deal. Because she, her MP is now high enough that she can. And as long as I equip this rod on her, she won't... It'll take her such a long time to run out of MP. Like, in the time... If she gets 5 cash, she'll be still at 10. Which means she can cast four casts of Spark 4 and then just swap to Blaze 4. And we're sorted. Nice damage. Genuine, genuinely surprised they didn't panic and start auroring. And this is inter interesting because this doesn't hurt. Although with three of them, maybe it will. All three of them and also. Right, that's convenient. I'm not sure if they have the same voice. Or a different one. I have to listen when the next one casts. Because if they have different voices, that's a really nice touch. They do seem to have different voices. Nice touch, that's really cool. I don't foresee... Well, actually, like, they're all gonna melt pretty fast. Especially with another round of, like, actual proper attacks on them in a sec. Let's top everyone up, because Bullzone can do damage. Medium is only missing one health. I 
This would be kind of nice, actually, because by constantly healing, they'll get their buffs. That has really big range. What is it? Demon breath. Oh, it's the summon. Summon. In inverted commas. It was so weird that he only ever cast this once when I fought him at the end. Poor Proden. So slow. Okay, so you're doing the same thing this side, or is this Demon Breath? Nope, same thing. Okay. I kind of like his horrific giant demon model. Oh, well, he's back to full health now, so that Inferno that I threw in was a waste, but that's okay. Um, all I can do is a spark. And in fact, based on targeting, this is the best I can do. I mean, he is hitting all four. Teach you. I like how he dabs when he takes damage. Honestly, the priests are putting up more of a fight than I thought they would. I thought they'd have fallen over by now. They're actually relatively down. I guess it's because they're in a place where it's awkward to hit them. And I suppose they are magic resistant because they're casters, and most of my squad are magic. So I suppose I have shot myself in the foot a bit there. But like, if I brought melee users, let's say I brought like, I don't know, David and more archers, they still wouldn't really be able to do anything. Like, Haywood is going to be useless again here until this guy's dead. At least because Ballsome is so big, I should be able to like, let everyone hit him. Can you hit anything from there? What about here? Nope. Okay, I figured you start healing. Which, inconvenient, but better than being punched in the face. Well, actually, no, punched in the face would be perfect because he would do very little damage. But better than being infernoed. Right, that's interesting, because now I can get in there and just start beating multiple of them to death. Gonna need to heal there now. So this is problematic, because I don't want you in range of ball zone. I also don't really want you here. But you can't hit anyone else otherwise. Uh, we're going to have to. Basically, this is going to get a bit awkward here because we're operating in such a tiny space. Okay, another heal. That's fine. Extremely glad they don't have heal four now. You can literally only hit ball zone, but that's fine. Actually, that's maybe not fine, depending on where I put you. I oh, know you're fine. Alright, let's heal everybody up. Maybe Proden can get in there and get a swing on him. I'll have to move him again later, but...
Right. So Bullseye now takes his two turns. This hurts, so I'm glad I healed. I mean, I could cast on one of the priests, but nah. At least what he did there was basically completely ensure that Bullzone won't be back at full health. And he soaked a hit for me, so I don't have to endure AoE. Okay, so I don't really want... It's the other one that I want to hit, but I think it's nearly dead anyway. I should have used Inferno. Right, Symbios actually can't do anything this turn. Yeah, it's fine. Perfect. This will kill that one and soften the other two up a little bit. And then I think it's the green one that I've done the most damage to out of them. Yeah, the red one I've barely touched. Yeah, the green one I'll focus down next. Do I want... No, no I don't. Oh, I don't like this. You can't reach unless I spark. So, spark I must. I mean, actually, her mana pool is so high, she can afford to do a couple. Probably like two or three, and then resort to plays. You're going to have to say put this turn. Sort of convenient that they're just healing. Actually, yeah, they don't really heal for very much. I'm going to assume the red one's going to heal again as well. Oh, nice, I can reach him. Yep, heal again. He's almost back to full health again. Just that's how infrequently I've been able to actually hit him. Right, that guy will be almost dead. In fact, maybe Proden can finish him off with Blaze. Without having to move. Nah, probably not. Melee. Yep. Bless him. He does four entire damage. Um, I can't remember if people are injured or not, but whatever. She's got one more aura anyway after this. And I think Isabella's still full mana. And she's got four as well. Probably for the best I did that. Is Bullzone going to drop anything? He's going to drop a Brave Apple. That's cute. Honestly, this is pointless because Median is going to hit you and you die. So, hit Bullzone again.
think this is the big boy spell. Yeah. It looks like Negative Flash has a tiny AoE and Demon Breath has the big one. Don't let this guy take another turn. Nice. Because now I can put Symbios in that gap. Or Julian in this gap. And then have Symbios start hitting the priest. And then I can move Proden away. So Symbios can sit in front of Ball Zone. Yeah, this, this priest's not going to last long now. And I might as well have Hayward just start shooting Ball Zone. Same for Bernard. I need to put Bernard where Grace is. Can you hit Bullzone from here? You can. Nice. So I basically, like, if I put Masker in where the Priest is, and since this is where Symbios is, yeah, everyone will be able to hit him with no problem. Honestly, kill killing these High Priests was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Like, they... They tanked so much damage, and even though the heal is weak, they healed enough that it was problematic. And I guess because most of my damage is magic as well. That makes it slightly more complicated. Please get countered and die. Well, I mean, it'd be... Hard to counter and hit him for 254, but we can believe. Oh, Bernard can hit from there anyway. We're fine then. We basically don't even need to move at this point. In fact... Synthesis barely even needs to move, because she'll be able to hit anyway. I just need to make sure I can get Proden to still hit with Blaze. And even that's not essential, it's just nice. you move out this time. I don't want you still on your own. Melee, okay, that's fine. I'm very okay with him just meleeing. Uh, yeah, let's make sure the priest is dead. Because that way Symbios can move in and hit the boss. Yeah, that'll kill him probably. Nice. It's genuinely ridiculous how strong he is. Do I want that goddess here? No, I don't want this one either. Now, I just gotta leave a gap for Proden. Hundred and seventy damage. He stands no chance, bless him. Like, a lot of what made him tough in the previous fight was the constant reinforcements. And uh there aren't any now. I've just put you in the wrong place. Well not the wrong place, but I moved you too far. I was going to put Proden there. Well, this sucks. 
Yeah, I'll have to just have him stay nearby and then re remember what I'm doing and move later. I'm sure his contribution to placefall was very, very valuable. Yeah, I want you here just so you're grouped up more. That's convenient. Actually, no, this is fine. I can move you here, and then Proden can still fit in that gap. Because Marky can hit from here anyway. It's fine. And because you're next to Synthesis and Hayward and whatever here, maybe you'll start building up ridiculous damage boost relationships with them. We could really do with Isabella getting a turn there now. So I can move her. Right. Just to make sure she can't get one shot. Grace can use her last heal. And then after this, it's just up to Isabella. The perks of being the quicker healer. Oh, only one MP this time. That's a shame. Ah, she's not actually in range. Good. So the problem here is Isabella now acts after this. I could choose to not heal, but if he then does Demon Breath again, he will take three actions before I get a chance to heal. So I think I just have to heal. I have to, he I have to use Isabella to heal on every one of her turns. And then pray that he dies before I run out of mana. But given that the heroes can hit him for like 600 damage a turn, I think we'll be alright on that front. But you know that's not true. Like, at best, they probably do about 450. That is still, like, a fifth of his health, though. Not on top of all the extra damage from everyone else hitting him with spells. And shooting him. They almost certainly, the three of them, out-damage all four spellcasters, though. They probably out-damage... Uh, their damage alone is probably more than everyone else's combined. Right, start beating him again. Yeah, I think 4 450 was like optimistic, but if they all use their good specials, technically possible. Good, your friends with Median. Really, I should have Julian in the middle. Well, actually, like I guess it doesn't matter. Actually, no, this is fine, because Median's strongest, so if he gets benefits from both of them... That'd be real good. Um, we might as well use a few sparks, because you've got so much mana that it doesn't matter. Fight number five, I think, so there's four to go. I think everything else after this is. Um, what's what I'm looking for? Like, throwback references to other Shining Force games. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, it's a nice game to fight Ballzone again. And, like, honestly, those Dark Priests were way better at defending him than the his actual high priests were, amusingly. Purely because they had more HP.
Right, he should only... Now that I'm, like, hitting him properly, he should only withstand, like, three more rounds of this at most. If that. Unless his health is, like, buffed in this mode. But I don't think it is. So I'm going to have to use Isabella to heal again now, just in case. Although I wonder, I think the action he takes at the end of turn might always be a physical attack while someone's in range. The one time that he used negative flash twice, I think, was just because there was nobody else he could hit. Like uh, in melee. Well, we got two more heals after this. And then we've probably got like a turn of no healing before people start to drop. Or I could use healing reins. And Lights of Hope, the, the really rare valuable items that I'm saving for a rainy day. Where this rematch with the final boss isn't a rainy day. Nice. Now what are you going to do? Okay, never mind. You do a spell. Oh, you actually do negative flash. This will do pitiful damage. Good. Some specials, please. Well, you do 112 now. Regardless. Yeah, you have benefits with both of them, so you should probably go in the middle. Nice. There we go. Figured it wouldn't be long. He probably won't die this round, just because the casters won't be able to kill him in time, I don't think. Julian does so much damage. Spark it is. I guess it's, we're going to have to see which of the three heroes gets the kill now. Um. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, okay. Well, Spark does like a tiny bit more damage. Um, this is the last round of combat, so... Uh, you know what? You might as well spark again. You know, maybe he will die, actually, before it gets back to Median. Well, not if you don't do specials. Because Marky hasn't attacked yet. Bernard hasn't. Proden hasn't. Isabella technically hasn't. Although Isabella probably won't. Unless, unless he melees, Isabella won't attack. Because if he uses Demon Breath twice, then he might actually kill people. Nah, he can't, she won't be able to kill him anyway. Nah, you can't hit him. It's fine. Oh, he heals as well, doesn't he, of course. Right, I think, actually, I can just attack. Because this does worthless damage. Yeah, everyone's going to be fine. Maybe Isabella can kill him. It'll be Isabella or Proden. One of the two. Because you actually have something for this exact situation. You got the Zephyrus Ang.
Oh, he should die now to Proden's Blaze, surely. Surely. Nice. Literally exact damage. Nice. Um, quite frankly, you don't need a healing drop. Yeah, get rid of it. We'll hang on to the Brave Apple until right at the end. Although, honestly, I should probably just go through, check who's on, like, really low XP so it's not wasted and just blow it on them. Ooh, King City Battle. Or a, a Raunt Battle. Wow, this is... He does not look anywhere near as opposing as I as I thought he would. This is this is Dark Dragon from Shining Force One, except it's just his head poking out of the water. Okay, so freeze three and spark three, blaze three and tornado three, and this one doesn't have any magic. Oh, oh, we officially have hit the point though where enemies have got more attack power than the final boss, so that's pretty cool. But uh, I'm gonna cut this one here. That was a half an hour fight. This one probably is gonna be about the same length because I think those heads now have quite a bit of HP between them. So thank you very much for watching everybody and I hope to see you next time. Take care.